Hi there. Gonna give you a tour of the 2019 Striker toy hauler version. The automatic jack. Also upgraded to the 30 pound tanks from the 20. There's a sway bar system that I will include with the sail and the hitch. Got a upgraded battery box with 12 volt receptacles on it. And I also upgraded the battery to uh, lithium. It was about a $1,200 battery that's backed up by a GoPro solar charger with a automatic controller. I bought this in the middle of 2020 new, so it's only been on the road a couple times for trips and then stayed at the campground near the house. Get all the lights back here. Also put a camera up there. It uh, came pre-wired for a camera off the running lights. You'll have to get your own screen for it. I use a screen for my other trailer. Everything's in great shape though. Out here you have the TV mount, plug, kicker speakers outside, power awning. Come inside, don't mind the mess, it's in for storage. Nice lighted stove top. TV pulls out, will also go outside. And then I upgraded all the fans. You got the fantastic deluxe fans with the thermostat and remote on all of them. Those were about 350 each. Comes with the 50 amp cord. You got sleeping on the top bunk. Dinette comes down, can be used for sleeping or the dinette with a table in the middle. This does have the dove table. And with the kicker audio system, Bluetooth connect. Subwoofer up here, nice size refrigerator, definitely a lot of freezer space, fridge space. Here's that control panel so you have your GoPro set up. This also has a 100 gallon fresh water tank, so you're running 60 pounds of propane, 100 gallons fresh water. Uh, definitely uh, get you out there if you're going off grid. You got the nice solar panel with the lithium. You can hang out for a few days and be pretty self sufficient. Another Max fan remote. I'm a bigger guy. I'm really uh, impressed with the size of the shower. The toilet's in a nice spot. Did replace the faucet here just have a little bit nicer one and uh, soap dispensers would come with it and get them in the shower and on each sink I put a smart TV in it's nice and fit good view from the bed and then one of the best parts is uh, you get about a $1,500 mattress in here so it's a king bed you can see how thick that is definitely a really really comfy bed I think it's about 14 inches 
the storage on both sides. And then this one, I didn't do the remote fan, but I did replace the normal vent that was in there. It does have a light and then just a fan that you still uh, can open while it's raining. Thanks for watching. My name's Brett. Just give me a call if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help you. A couple of things I forgot to point out here would be uh, I have a lock and load system, so being it's mounted, it would come with that. You can put a bike, uh, motorcycle, right in there, and the side latches hold it down with no straps or anything. I was able to get a Cam Am Spider and a uh, KLR 650 Enduro bike in here, uh, along with. Um, vents in the forward and then you have vents in the aft in the back corner there so if you do have those fumes in that you can flip those and be okay d-rings everywhere it's really well built all right thanks for watching oh last thing i do have a uh system in here you flip a switch and it's a self-winterizing system by air so no antifreeze had to be pumped through any of the lines uh, if you're traveling from uh, you know, north to south, you can just go ahead and flip that uh, you know, back and forth if you're going in the middle of the winter and just uh, blow everything out with air. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes to winterize the whole camper here. So have a great day.